forward to with great joy ever since I learned who our guest was going to be this week. We have lots of comedians in this country. We have very few real clowns in the great classic tradition. Here to my mind is one of the greatest pantomimists we have ever known, Mr. Harpo Marx. Oh, this is the way we'll do this thing. Every time that you have to answer yes to a question, you will honk once. And every time the answer is no, you honk twice. That's right. Well, now, Harpo, since you cannot whisper your secret to me, will you just kind of make little signs to me, and at the same time, we'll show your secret to the folks at home. this secret. It concerns something that he is doing, and Polly Bergen, we'll start with you, dear. Uh, Mr. Marks, are you doing this at this moment? Yes, I see. That's a yes. Uh, uh, is there another person involved? Perhaps Mr. Moore, Gary? There is. Uh, There's another person yes. in involved, another person mentioned, but not, uh, but it is not I. Oh, but it is not you. I see. Uh, so this is something that you're just doing, but not necessarily to Mr. Moore, right? <laughs> is that maybe? This mean perhaps, I guess. I see. <laughs> it is something that he's doing, uh, but, uh, but he is not doing it to me. I see. Is there an object involved? Object? One yes. more. <laughs> no, I see. Uh, is there some, uh, would it uh, perhaps help if I knew what part of your body you were using to do this? I don't think so, Polly. Ten dollars down and seventy dollars to go. Bill Cullen, please. Uh, Harpo, is there more than one other person involved in this? Nope. One more. It's two for no and one for yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Two uh, for no and one for yes. The answer there is no. All right. This other person involved, would it, uh, is it somebody here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> is it somebody whose name we would know if we were to hear it? <laughs> All right. So $20 down and $60 to go. Well, Jane Meadows. But there's no object involved. You're not wearing anything of somebody's? <laughs> There is well. no object mentioned, but there is an object involved in an answer to your particular... Uh, and it is that he's wearing something? <laughs> <laughs> you get no straight answers from Mr. Marks, I'll guarantee you. Uh, in other words, I'm wrong when I say that he's wearing something that belongs to somebody else. No, he is wearing something that belongs and, to somebody else. Oh, and that's where the other person is involved. I see. Is it one of your famous brothers? Uh-huh. <laughs> There's thirty dollars down and fifty dollars to go, Henry Morgan. Well, wait a minute, you you said the secret isn't about this though. No. <laughs> oh well. No, well, no, the secret is of concerns another person. However, the, and there is there are objects involved, but the object is not mentioned in the secret. All right. Groucho. Chico. 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 I'm lost. <laughs> it's the funniest feeling I ever had. Uh, yes. Uh, no, does. Chico, he said. No, well, this does involve Chico, wouldn't you say? And Groucho. Just Chico. <laughs> we Zeppo? Seem, we, we seem to have, have changed uh, signals in, in midstream. Mr. March, you're, you're, you're now going two for yes and one for no? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Twenty dollars down. Twenty dollars to go. I'm sorry, I've lost myself. Polly Bergen again. Each of you has one more check. Now what if we what if we settle? It involves one of his famous brothers. It is not Groucho. Chico. Chico is Chico is involved. Now we're doing one and two. Chico is <laughs> Chico, then, is, is uh, mentioned in the secret, is that right, Herman? Yes. Uh, is it something that uh, he's doing, is that right? Is it something you... Uh, We're going to cut you all, fat. We have 50 bucks down and 30 do uh, uh, $50 dollars down and $30 to go. What is it, Jane? You got an idea? Is, is he wearing an awful Chico No. No? Oh, I've got it. What? He's Chico. Yes, it's Chico. <laughs> oh. oh, we got him pretty confused there for a while. <laughs> Chico, it was great fun having you with us tonight. He fooled me when he walked in the theater because I thought I knew, knew Harpo and they looked even... <laughs> well, you fooled a panel of four people in show business for a good long time. I didn't think I'd fool Henry, though. <laughs> you know, I don't fool him a good. You don't fool him a good, no. Well, you were a great joy to have around me, I tell you, Chico. Our best regards to all the family, both on and off the radio and television. Have a Farewell.